Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone who's been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. If you haven't subscribed or liked, please do so on below. And I do have the links below to alert you to anyone who wants to book a reading. I'm happy to do that for you since these are general readings. Um, also, if you subscribe, you'll get a notice of when my videos are up. Alrighty, so this is for the week of April 8th through April 14th. The sun is still in Aries, so we're in this fire sign. We've had the equinox um, in the southern hemisphere. Their seasons have changed into um, autumn, and in the northern hemisphere, our seasons change into spring. So we have this shift of energy, all right? And in the tarot, the wands are fire. Aries is a fire sign. Okay, so we have here a couple of wands here already to indicate our fiery energy that spring-like energy this is new life ideas okay inspiration and it is our spiritual energy but we have the ten of wands now the ten means something new is beginning so something has started to let's say culminate for you it's closing off it's ending and we did just have the full moon in libra so for many of us, we've taken on a lot. This is worker social situation, by the way. We've taken on a lot of responsibility. We've been putting a lot of energy into a task, a lot of momentum, forward momentum, even though we've been burdened with a lot to take on. And we took that on willingly here. For most of us, we took on this responsibility. We thought we could handle it pretty easily and like just push ahead. That's that Aries energy, right? That generator, active fire. Get out of my way. You know, I'll do it myself. However, this is more of a slow momentum. This is like you're really trudging along. See how your head is down? You're focused on your task at hand and you are plodding along, pushing forward, dedicated to this. You know, there's been all these trials, tribulations, all these challenges, conflicts, everything that you put all your energy into, ideas, new business, new relationships, ending relationships, whatever your energy was focused on, it was scattered in many different places, but yet you endured and you're pushing forward here and we see we're on a level plane. There isn't another mountain for you to climb. All right, this is straightforward and you're heading toward your goal. You will reach your goal. You will be successful in this because this card is Saturn in Sagittarius. Saturn, we know, is dedication, resolution, hard work, responsibility, reliability, structure, form, foundation. You know, here we have this nice, straight, solid foundation. Sagittarius is all about that freedom to expand and have fun and enjoy it's ruled by jupiter all right so everything it touches it expands on whether it's positive or not how much effort you put into this now will be rewarded to you all right and you may reach out to many other people and many other ethnicities you may travel with this card this could card could mean a lot of the things that you worked hard on and completing is now going to broaden your horizon and since it is um, that energy with Sagittarius we definitely feel like it's truth being told and the higher vibration all right and our expansion into new adventures in our life but it's because we did the hard work Saturn will reward us you know Saturn like I said is that one that holds you back and doesn't give you anything until you do the work you have to learn the lesson. And Jupiter is the great benefic to bless you. So here it's like a dichotomy, one holding back, one pushing forward. But in this card, it's you're reaping the rewards of your hard work and your labor. And uh, the energy that you would drain from, from this person or people, this thing, this situation, this illness, your schooling is going to show now that you've got the prize. King of Wands is a father or father figure that's either that or Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, even though in the Tarot this card is Leo, you see the lion on there, but it does represent the fire signs. Um, this man has worked very hard for everything he has in his life. It didn't come easy. It's really been a, a long, hard life, and it's been well lived, 
and they have a solid foundation here and they are um, planted here. See the wand is in the ground there and established. This person has a lot of great knowledge. Um, they are like the chameleon though, where they can change and adapt to their environment. Very, very empowered, very grounded, very wise. Now, if this is a male figure in your life, or even if it's a female, this is usually an older person that's, let's say, 35 and older. They're either a father or a father figure to you, the person involved. They're influencing the situation, affecting the situation, or coming into the situation because they're looking over at your hard work. So for some of us, this is going to be um, the, the school teacher, the professor, the parent, the uh, older sibling, cousin, aunt, uncle. This could be uh, the boss, the CEO. This could be someone who is of a higher status in life and they are seeing your hard work and dedication. And they have the ideas. Remember, the king always has the ideas and they are of the mental realm. So with this king being of the mental realm and fire is his sign, which is action. He really knows how to put ideas into action. So this person here for many of you is gonna be someone who's gonna be helping you. So if it's the teacher, it's helping you with your grades, getting that job, the vocation, the trade, a doctor who's gonna help you with your illness, or maybe you're in, um, you go to the gym and you have a new exercise partner. If this is a person coming into your life, if this is a male or a female who struggled in their relationships in life, this person is coming and have been looking toward you to see and recognize all the hard work you've been through and what you've been torn down on and rebuilding your life and this person is gonna be an integral part of your life being reestablished. There's passion with this person though. I have to tell you if this is a love, um, this is a passionate uh, love, a fiery love. Now with this energy of being more mature, this person has the staying power where if it was the night, they might be fleeting. This person's there for the long haul. But on the lower vibration too, they can be a little bit bossy or bullying, aggressive. Um, and in the higher vibration, like I said, they are very loving, very charming, caring. They're dedicated and focused in the relationship. So for whomever this is in your life, they do embody the higher and lower vibrations of this King of Wands energy. And in either case, they are here right now looking toward you to help you in your situation because they've been established in their life and they're looking for you to have this establishment. This is family with the Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is dynasty, right? This is past generations, your ancestry. Okay, because we have the older person here. We have the younger couple. We could say maybe it's their children. And here's the couple's child, so the grandchild. See, this is generational. This is very well established, this union here, the arc over their head and the column, so we know they're protected. There is much in the unseen around them coming into form because of the hard work and dedication of this other person. All right, so this person has been very good with money, with wealth, with land, property. So this could even be maybe you're going to inherit money or you are going to inherit a piece of property. Someone gives you a car. These are tangible things. Yeah, it could be you got a great tax refund. You worked hard your whole this whole year and this is the tax preparation person or a lawyer or whatever and you're getting all this money or they're helping you with closing a deal on a house or maybe you had a legal situation going on and it's come to fruit because with the ten of pentacles we have mercury in virgo now mercury is retrograde okay until i think like the 15th of april um so with that you're saying that's commerce mercury is commerce all right, it's um, local things, it's property, it's things around you that are close by, it's your siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins. And then when we have it in, in Virgo, Virgo is long-term planning. This is things you aspire to to perfect and things that you are discerning over a long term is what's beneficial for you. And this person, <clears throat> excuse me, has done that. So whoever this is in your life is helping you in, in a blessing or something comes to you in a blessing that's going to help you in your life. Um, this is a really nice card to have because it's saying for now, you will have the money that you need and everything you need that's tangible in third dimensional reality. And it should last for a while. It doesn't go out forever and ever, but it does last for a while. Okay, because you've been worrying for a long time. You've been worrying about money, about the house. Maybe you've been trying to buy a house 
and you said, oh, this is never going to happen. Things are so expensive. Well, you couldn't get your child into that school you wanted them to. You couldn't afford it. Or you weren't able to get maybe um, the assistance you needed, all right, if you're down on your luck or your unemployment. See, this is that worry and that's that doubt and fear with that five vibration. And this is also Mercury, but it's in Taurus. Now, again, Mercury is about commerce, money, um, your home, things that are around you in your neighborhood. And it's in Taurus, which is also very much about things that are of this earth. So we have these two pentacles next to the two wands. So for many of us, this is work or social situation concerning money or something tangible, our home, our health, um, our car, you know, because Mercury also that rules like your, your car because um, it's the mode of transportation that takes you local places. You've been worrying about this for a while, but you need to stop worrying about this. Or, well, you could worry if you want to, because it's not going to make any difference. But you should feel better after the 30th of April, because this card represents April 21st to April 30th. So this feeling of loss and worry that you've been experiencing will be passing. All your hard work is paying off. Someone's here to help you, whether it's in spirit too, they're saying, because this could be a spirit guide, an angel guide for you, um, a loved one on the other side, maybe a namesake. Okay, that's helping you with this. And if you haven't been asking them to help you, ask the angels and guides and God to help you with this because they want you to have all of these blessings. They want you to have comfort in your life and not to worry. Let me just clarify with this. Okay, so we have the high priestess and major. Okay, so things have not come to term for you yet and you're waiting for it. You really, you put a lot of energy into it. That too, you took the first step. You come together with something, you're waiting for the outcome. So we know this is potential that's... Um, recognized but not fully expressed like I tell you the pregnant woman she holds her secret in her womb right no one sees she's pregnant yet okay that would be the empress when she starts to show her pregnancy so she's got all the secrets the high priestess this is like psychic energy this is the tarot reader the psychic okay but it's our intuition and um, it's also things that we are trying to birth in our life that we haven't fully realized yet so sometimes you need to step back and reevaluate a situation and in the mercury retrograde that's what you do you want to reassess things take care of all the things you didn't do in the past finish those uh those bills those paperwork read over the things that you need to do to sign whatever you need to buy or sell do it now you know that you'd put off from before don't start anything new in the retrograde but uh, return those phone calls you know, answer those texts. Those are the things you need to do. Communication, okay, Mercury, communication in how you network and socialize. And with this card here, you want to reevaluate all this stuff at this time. What did you miss? You know, what things didn't you do that you didn't take care of? You want to do that. Mm -hmm. Trusting your instincts is very important too. And knowing that you have this knowledge, but it's inside of you and you have to embrace this knowledge, you know, with, with saying no, I'm just imagining this. Oh, that can't be real. Trust your instincts, you know? And if this person has a lot of instincts that's even a little scary to you and uncanny, that could be what this person is also offering you. Um, spiritual guidance, psychic energy. Trust your inner div divination here. You do withhold that in you as to all of us do, okay? And look at that and evaluate that too. And knowing whatever it is you're trying to create will be coming for you and i really feel that the pain or agony or mental anguish you're going through in this time of the mercury retrograde um, will be passing by april 30th for you and you'll start to breathe in here comes ash that energy of renewal and uh, clarification and things start to move forward at this time in your life anyway well, thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful reading. And thank you again for everyone who watches and shares. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Enchantress Tarot, and Instagram also. And again, if you'd like to book a reading, I could do it by phone, Skype, or FaceTime. And I'm happy to do that for you. Just uh, email me or instant message me or DM me. Okay? And everyone have a wonderful week. As always, I wish you the best.